Hi, welcome to this ODIS how-to video. In this task we're going to select, attach and then start a guided fault finding test plan via the disk coding system. We'll take it that the air conditioning functionality has got poor cooling. Whenever guided fault finding is launched it automatically directs you to the disk tab. This is because when following service call process any disk reports created by the service advisor will be displayed on this screen. As you can see here, no disk reports have been started. So we can utilize the disk coding system on this screen to code the customer complaint using the appropriate options. As I start to code the complaint, you can see the options that I select appear on the screen. In addition to this, at the top of the screen, you can see there is now a disk report in the list. However, it is listed as manual in the BAID column. It's important to understand that this is not a real disk report, it's just a method of being able to select a test plan via the customer's symptoms. At this point, it's worth reminding ourselves that the true purpose of a disk report is so that the factory can track trends in customer complaints and symptoms. So even though we've used the disk coding system to allow us to choose a test plan, it will be very important to make sure the factory get this customer information by filling out a disk report on Elsa Pro. Now that I've entered the customer complaint using the disk coding system, you can see the disk code listed as a manual entry at the top of the screen. I now need to convert this into a test plan by right clicking on the disk code. The following pop-up menu appears where we have a number of options to either extend the test plan, display TPIs or look at the customer complaint again. We're going to use the option extend test plan. The following pop-up menu now lists diagnostic objects for your selected customer code. In this instance there's only one test plan being offered. Click on the appropriate test plan and now I'll use this option to transfer it to my test plan list. In order to see if that diagnostic test plan has been successfully attached, we now need to navigate to the test plan view. When attached correctly, your test plan will be listed in the list below. Click on the test plan that you've just added. And as with any test plan, you now need to select Perform Test. ODIS now offers you a number of ways to start the test plan. Click on the most appropriate option. That's it, we've now located, attached and started a diagnostic test plan via the disk coding system. That's it for this task. If you'd like to see any more demonstrations, check out the other videos.